Hey, what's up guys? We're going to do something a little bit different here today for replay reviews, and this is mostly because I haven't really been able to find a completed replay for this. We're going to talk today a little bit about the Out of the Park Baseball random uh, debut function. So uh, for those of us who uh, have never played Out of the Park Baseball, which I think includes quite a bit of my audience, uh, Out of the Park Baseball is not just like a replay game, sort of like what we're used to. It's a little bit beyond uh, the normal sort of APA, Stratomatic, uh, pursue the pennant, uh, replay, so on and so forth, take one season at a time approach. What Out of the Park Baseball allows you to do is it allows you to become the general manager of a team, which means that you can take control of everything that involves the team. You can take control of the finances of the team. You can take control of the team for multiple uh, seasons, multiple years. You could manage the team for 120 years if you wanted to. And you don't have to, of course, play the games out one by one. You can automatically play them and do a whole bunch of other stuff. Now, that's pretty cool when it comes to any sort of long-term project you want to do. You could take control of, say, like the, I don't know, the 1919 Philadelphia Phillies and try to um, take them away from the uh, seller and instead turn them into a major league powerhouse. That sort of thing does happen. But the cool thing you can do that you just don't see with other games is you can have this mode called Random Debut where you can set up all of the players in baseball history, I mean everybody, and have them come out at some random time. So not only are we talking about like a greatest players type league where you have, I don't know, Roger Clemens pitching to Ty Cobb, but you can have Ty Cobb come out as a rookie when Roger Clemens is 31 years old, right? You can um, see if Babe Ruth stays as a pitcher if he develops develops a certain way according to OTP's talent development system. You can mess around a lot with the settings and try to get things set up exactly the right way so that the league uh, progresses the way that you want it to progress. If you're like me and you really like uh, the way baseball was played in the late 1970s and early 1980s, you can set it so that the game is always in the late 70s and early 80s and so that there is no real change in the talent level at all. You can keep the ballparks the same till the end of time. You can change them at uh, your will and so on and so forth. It's a real interesting approach and it's a real different type of game. Now, I thought I would show a little bit of clips of how to set up the random uh, debut function in OTP. It's pretty easy in OTP 25. They've been working to try to make it easier and easier. There are a few things that you need to know though. One of them is that when you set up random debut, you will have an inaugural uh, historical draft the inaugural draft will include players of all ages, and it's set up so that there will be, I think, enough players for 44 rounds of drafting for as many teams as you've put into the database. So if you've chosen 16 teams, you'll have enough players for all 16 teams to have 44 players on the roster, right? If you've uh, chosen 30 teams, there'll be enough players available for 44 players in all 30 rosters. However, note that some players will come in at the very end of their career, like you'll get some guys in their late 30s and early 40s, whereas you uh, will also get some guys who are very young at the very beginning of the career. Now, this has resulted in a whole bunch of consternation and frustration, I would say, in the OTP crowd over the years, right? One of the problems with a random debut, the way that it's set up, is that when a new player comes in, he comes in at the major league level, not at the minor league level, which means that there's a lot of development that can't happen. Uh, if you spend a lot of time in the OTP forums, you'll read a lot about the famous old Spritz database, which was uh, created by the unfortunately late, uh, uh, now deceased poster known as Spritz, uh, who created a database of players uh, of high school age, which was uh, intended to remedy this problem. We discovered a couple of years ago, unfortunately, that this database really no longer works in the game. The fielding statistics are completely off, and uh, players who are supposed to play right field come in not being able to play any outfield position or not being able to play right field or something bizarre like that. So it's not really compatible with the current game, but the idea behind Random Debut absolutely is compatible with the current game. This is a completely different idea for baseball. This is something that, like I said, you can't see with any other game because it's designed to allow you to play not just one season after another, but to play like, I mean, an entire new baseball history with whichever team you chose. And you can do a whole bunch of little tricks to sort of make Random Debut work better. 
Now, I've learned that there is a way around some of the problems that come with it. For example, if you have players who come in old, you can delete those players as free agents and uh, have and they will pop back up again as, sometime later in your save as new rookie players at their youngest age. Now, you don't want to do that with everybody, right, when you play through this type of league. One of the problems that you have uh, if you just have players who come in as rookies is that there would be no space for other new young players to come in. That's one of the issues that you'll run into with a random debut unless you have things sort of sorted out exactly right. Normal major league teams will have players that are a little bit older, not just players that are, you know, rookies and have the entire team be filled with rookies. If you've ever tried this with other games, like, say, with Football Manager, you know that if you have a team made up of nothing but guys who um, are, like, brand new and who were just created or who are, like, 18 years old or whatever, you're going to have a lot of balance problems in your game. So that's something to keep in mind if you decide to play with a random debut. There are little things you can do to get around this, right? Remember that if you the game will set up with enough players to allow for a large draft, so if you set up with too many teams at the start, then you whittle it down to the number of teams that you wanted, you might be able to get away with deleting a whole bunch of players and not have the, uh, uh, not have the balance of the league be completely off. Uh, Random debut is pretty interesting. I've been really interested in it really for a couple of years now. I haven't really tried it um, hands-on yet. Um, there's a whole bunch of other things that are interesting that are sort of unique to OTP. For example, OTP has a uh, sort of era setting similar to what you see in Diamond Mine Baseball and Action PC Baseball. But the cool thing is that in OTP, you can keep the uh, league at like the same era. So if you really liked, I don't know, 1977 baseball, you can keep it constant from year to year to year so that you never really go out of those parameters and uh, deviate from the norm that uh, has been created with that season. So there you go. That's the way the random debut works. I'm really interested to know, especially if any of you have played random debut uh, seasons before, if you have any experience with it, um, and especially if you have any stories about things that happen. There are some stories on the official forums, but there's not a lot. I know that a lot more people play with it than people post about it, but there's just not a lot out there. There's not a lot of stories, and I was looking around and around in vain for a really good story about somebody's major uh, random debut project. So if you have that, let me know, especially if you've posted about it somewhere, if you've posted statistics or posted stories or whatever, definitely let me know because I'm really interested in that. It would be really cool to read through and to try to feature that sort of thing. Again, this is something that's unique to OTP. I don't think that it really exists with any other game. I don't think it's possible with any other game. Uh, it goes goes beyond a single season and starts going into completely remaking history and being able to do all sorts of funky things uh, through the player development engine and through everything else. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, we'll have more uh, more replays and more other long-term and short-term projects to talk about in the future. We've got quite a few coming up. So we'll talk with you then. I'll take care. Bye-bye.